Ah, I bet you thought it was running then, didn't you? All that smoke coming out there, little hole. Well, back again, here we go. Today, I've got me bits and pieces to put all the suspension and everything together. Thanks to Dave Jaguar picking them bits up for me from uh, Mini Sport. Really appreciate that, mate. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, so let's get both the sort of rear axle part, front subframe in, and start building up all the uh, all the suspension now. Looking forward to this bit. Once again, won't in, won't be in this episode, but very shortly, I'm talking maybe in two episodes' time. I reckon I might have a suspension working. So keep them peeled, eh? Right then, um, first thing to do, get that rear beam bolted in, I think, because that's going to be the easiest thing to do first. So, right, let's crack on with that. Well, that's that bit in. So, it's coming along now. Only one bit on and I feel excited. Front subframe next. So let's move you over there. I do like a bit of time lapse. Makes things feel like they go together a lot quicker, doesn't it? Right, over to another time lapse. Right, that's these front subframe mounts just literally loosely on there so you can get all the bolts to line up. Got the front mounts on, got the rubber pads on there. So now just got to lower the ramp and tuck this up in there. Woo! Oh my God, this is really slow. It's a good job you've got time lapse. Well, the car's now on the floor and I need to pick the subframe up and turn the bolts. See if I can do it this way. Maybe. in well just about oh, oh, pick looks, you up. it looks so much more complete than it oh dear i do like quite i do like the orange and black contrast though i'm really liking that i have done uh, i don't know if i have showed you this in the previous video but i have painted the roll cage now as well and i must say yeah, I like it black. Once again, nice contrast, orange and black. Pretty good. So, right. Let me get these uh, two top bolts tightened up. Get some bolts through the front, bolts underneath. Um, I won't bother filming that, not even in time lapse. You don't want to see me put bolts in. So I'll bring you back once I've done that a little bit. Right, back up in the air again now. Let's get all the rest of these bolts on. even see through the holes and just needs a little tweak oh, yeah perfect right let's get some uh, bolts through these front subframe mounts now and then I go for the 
one's underneath the rear of the front subframe mounts and I can tighten everything right up then. I've, all, I've tightened up the two top, what I call tower bolts. I don't know if that's what they're called, but that's what I call them. I've tightened them right up. So, oh, let's have a look at that. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so let's get them, uh, get these bolts in next, I think. Once again, don't need to see that, do you? I'll get them in. Right, after a little bit of a, let's call it a schoolboy error, I managed to get these subframe mounts on the wrong way round and I had to take them off again. I did a good job I only put them on loosely, but yeah, I had it so the bit was pointing out here and couldn't get the bolts through. So um, any eagle-eyed person spotting what I've done here, um, whenever you put a bolt, nut and bolt through a component on a car and that nut and bolt has to go vertical, you should always drop the bolt through the hole and then put the nut on the bottom. Uh, I haven't done that this way. The reason being, I don't want nuts and bolts hanging down from the car. I mean, I could just cut the excess off, but can't be bothered to do that really. So I've put them up through the hole because obviously uh, we've got nylock nuts now. You know, it's uh, a new technology that they don't come undone. So we'll call that, it's uh, a new nylock technology. We'll call that nylology, okay? So ny nylology, remember that one. You heard it here first. So nylock nuts, we're gonna do all this lot up now, get all that tight. I've already got the bolts through, there, there they are. Already got them through there and done up with the mounts on the front. So yeah, it's just these rear mounts to do up and then the front subframe's actually in. And then I can start assembling the front suspension. Oh, oh, oh it's exciting. Can't wait to see what it looks like even. So right, let me just do a little bit more spannering and uh, check on the old nylology there. Let's make sure it uh, comes up to uh, certification. Back in the tick. That's them all done up. Of course, I've, uh, I've checked the nuts there for the uh, nylology and I've torqued these up to 14 scrotometers. So they're nice and tight. They're never gonna come loose. Just in case you're wondering what a scrotometer is. When you strain to tighten up a bolt, really tight when you're tightening something up it's the left hand side so the left testicle lifts millimeters and you just got to measure that 14 millimeters is 14 scrotometers there you go you've learned something can also do it in grunts grunts as well but I, I think that's a bit too archaic really okay front subframes now in now it's time to start assembling stuff and here we are in the cave of the hydraulic ram. So, nice little M12 bolt through there. Oh, wobble wobble. the first bit of the hydraulics going in yeah exciting right. i've just done the same thing the other side as well um next i think we'll work our way down i think we'll go for the uh upper control arms next because that's the bit the ram fixes to so let's get that bit in i think i might hmm don't know actually yeah yeah i might as well do the upper control arms next then I've got to put the ball joints and swivels on the hub and the wheel bearings in the hub. So, lots to do. Let's build all this up. I'll tell you what I might do, actually. You don't need to see how minis go together, do you? I don't know. I might uh, I might time-lapse one side, then just do the other side off camera. Makes sense, doesn't it? Because I think it's a bit boring. Because I do it a lot. So, yeah. Uh, right, I'll... I'll time lapse me doing one side. Or shall I? God, decisions, decisions. Well, I'll show you bits way through, I think. I think that's what I'll do. Right. I'll be back in a tick once I've got all my bits together and decide what I'm right, going to do. Come on a little way. 
Got the upper control arm there, connected to the hydraulic ram. So that's that bit. I've still got to change the steering rod, track rod end. Got all the lower arm on. Got, I haven't got to tighten this bit up yet, but that's on there. That moves nice and tight. There we go, it's nearly one side together. I've just got to change that track rod in now. Put all the hub together, put all the wheel bearings in. Get all that all together. And uh, crack on with the other side, I think. That might be tomorrow though, I don't know. See how we go. Well, that's just taken ages. I hate shimming these things up. You put too many in, it's too loose. Then you take one out and it's too tight. So it's all done now anyway, all back together. Wheel bearings in. Um, just got to do, oh, I've got a sandblast. I don't know if you can see it over there. I've got a sandblast that brake back plate because that one I haven't done yet. Uh, that goes on this side. So can't really put too much more together until I've done that. Um, and I think I've had enough for the day really. I've made a lot of mess, even up here. <laughs> oh dear, right. So, I think that's going to be enough. I hopefully might get on here tomorrow as well. So I should finish off this, do the sandblasting that bit, got all this back together, hub on, you know, brake on, brake pipe. Yeah, it's all going together pretty well. So, until another day, bread lights. Yeah, until another day, I'll uh, back again soon. Thanks for watching, dirty hands.